Welcome to episode 75 of Gintama. Last time we had the Kochikame unibrow zombie virus. This time I've heard that it's a recap, but it's Gintama. So of course they're going to do a recap in a funny way. I've heard that people do enjoy this episode. So at the very least I was going to watch it regardless, but I was considering watching it on my own. I asked about it a little bit in my Discord, and some people said that it was funny and enjoyable. So I decided, whatever, let's go ahead and cover it on the channel for the hell of it. So we're doing it, and we're going to watch it and just see how it goes. Sorry if you wanted me to skip it, but here we are. <laughs> We're going to watch and discuss. Got the subtitles and the timer on screen if you want to follow along. Or you can pull up the episode on your own on the side. But let's get into this thing in three, two, one, play. All right. I was also hoping for a new OP and ED, but maybe that'll be next time. After the recap. If the recap is just this shot and just them talking about everything that's happened, that would be funny. Yeah, the, the ass. The ass. Enter the ass. Enter the dragon. I don't even know if there will be a discussion for this episode, but we're doing it. Shit. Damn it. Used up the whole damn budget. So we gotta do a recap. They worked too hard and were too damn talented. <laughs> That's pretty badass that in the show, they'll just have the characters straight up say, Give us a bigger budget, assholes. <laughs> How do you even say no to that? Oh yeah. Make it kind of like the Mob Psycho recap, where it's told from Reagan's perspective. And so, like, all of the cool moments that everybody else did, he pretends that he did it instead. And there's moments of other characters fighting, and it's their bodies, but with Reagan's head on their bodies while he pretends that he did it. And as it goes on, it says, like, Reagan's, like, how Mob's, you know, his percentage builds up, uh, Reagan's like, delusional percentage builds up, or, like, the amount that he... I don't remember what they called it. Just, like, the amount that he's lying. The percentage builds up. <laughs> so what is this? Is this... Okay, this is not going to be a new opening. This is just a song from... from Otsu. <laughs> Alongside the normal opening visuals. Where is the hair growing? My moles! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I should... Yeah. What the fuck? The Big Dipper. Big Daddy. That's Otai. Talking about moles and hairs on the moles. Why does this <laughs> lady have fans? I believe the entire point is, like, it doesn't matter what the fact that she's singing about stupid bullshit because she's cute. And, like, sounds good, so they just adore her regardless. I believe that's the commentary. But it's, yeah, it's it's pretty silly. Can this just be the new opening? Like, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna tear that mole right off! Okay! If you have moles, you aren't human. <laughs> Your mom's a what? <laughs> this is going to be stuck in my head. I'm not even kidding. It actually is. <laughs> I'm glad I watched this just for this. That was actually, that was like actually fairly catchy. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, it's not totally recap. There's some new stuff. Your mother is that. Your mother's a whore. Oh yeah, that was perfect. That's totally Gintama. Is that right? Mm. 
Who is that indeed? Moo? Nothingness? Oh, are we doing it? We're doing the... Okay. <laughs> we're, we're doing the real OP now. All right. Sure. While the OP is playing, uh, let me say that if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel. Gintama comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays with other videos every day of the week. Also, check out the description down below for Twitter and Discord if you want to hang out there, and Patreon if you want to get these videos early and support this channel and vote in polls and get vlogs and all that stuff. Thank you. So, yeah, we're doing... This is... different. Why, okay, why are, why are we getting all of this Prince Hata? We haven't seen him in the show in a while. What? Why? Why is he, why? Yeah, this is his backstory from the, the whole Tarzan Star Wars story thing that happened. But, <laughs> um... Why? Why is the OP of him? Just because you can? Okay. Maybe he'll narrate the whole thing. That'd be funny. <laughs> why? Yeah, why? Why? Of all characters, of all... Ah, there you are. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I watched this. <laughs> he didn't just join you. He took over completely. Oh, always. I tune in for you every week. I draw doujins of you in my spare time. Ow. Okay, well, there he goes. <laughs> At least we saw him. Okay, just don't say anything. Whoa, oh my god. Well, that's not fitting in the YouTube title, so... I'm gonna have to just trim that down. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting into... We're getting into recap now, so... Okay. They're gonna argue over who gets to narrate it. Wow. <laughs> A lot of the plot points have been forgotten. Like Kagura not being able to be in the sun. We're recapping the very beginning. Nostalgia. It feels like so long ago that I saw the beginning of Gintama, and yet at the same time, it doesn't feel that long ago. I just feel like I've spent so much time with these characters, thinking back on the days when we were first meeting them, and didn't even know a lot of the main characters yet, or, you know, like... A lot of the side characters who are who show up often. Thinking about the times when I didn't even know them yet. It feels like so long ago. So yeah, this will be an episode where I get to recap my thoughts and my experiences with Gintama while they recap all their shit. Because I've come a long way. 75 episodes is a lot compared to most shows that I've watched on here that have been way shorter, but... There's so much more to go. It feels like I've uh, I've been through a lot with these characters and nice. When I watch long shows or read long manga, I tend to get very invested because of just the amount of time that I spend with the characters. So by the time I get into the hundreds and hundreds, nice Gundam, right? <laughs> um... You know, like, I'm already way into it, but I'm going to be even wayer into it. That's when we met Kagura. Looking back on meeting Kagura, that feels like forever ago. Yep, got to find that time machine. Got to do it. That's right. I remember they hid in the trash can or something like that. 
This was like episode th- three or four or something. Not three. Because that was the first real episode. Both. You can, you can be both. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to have to speed through a lot of it. What if they show clips from every single episode? Like those YouTube videos where it'll show like one second of every episode of a show. Condo? Oh, that's right. When they fought, when they... Oh, man, memories. Oh. Sadaharu. It's so cool looking at early Gintama again. I'm still in early Gintama, in a way. Catherine's introduction. That guy... Good old Elizabeth. Asagawa looking for a job. Takasugi's introduction. The underwear thief who, like, died, I think. I don't even remember. That was a weird what happened to him. The beach. The mosquito. The kappa who was friends with the girl from Tama's arc. Sachan. Sakamoto. Oh, man, this is... It's nice seeing everybody and recapping. When they were girls and Katsuro was hot. Episode 25 with the hot pot. Yakuza guys. Matsudaira. That was like Otsu's boyfriend or whatever. The Justaways. Those guys. The Carpenters. Edomess. Oh, he punched her in the face. I wish I would have shown that part. Mayonnaise, Golgo 13. <laughs> The Hattori's introduction with the psychic guy. Neo Jet Armstrong, whatever, Cyclone. That lady, I like her, but I don't remember her name. Kagura's dad. So are we, like, almost done with the recap? Like, what's what's even left? <laughs> that episode with the working in the bar. The ninjas. Monster Sadaharu. We haven't really seen them much since. Well, maybe like once or twice. Spending all their money. Hedoro. The assassins trying to kill Hijikata. Okay, that got us through all that. I guess we're picking up from there now. That was really cool, looking back on all that. It's all very memorable. Like, most of those images I was able to immediately recognize. Oh yeah, that was that. Oh yeah, that was that. There were some in there where it's like, what exactly was that? But most of it is immediately memorable. A lot of character introductions. A lot of characters. Hi! Okay, so Rachi's self-rambling. They grow. What does that mean? How do you climb a dream? Like, experiencing... I don't know what any of that meant, but apparently that was actually his voice. So, cool. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Especially doing it for, like, nearly 20 years or whatever. Yeah. It's all a pain. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That's the man who created all this shit, so no surprise. I want to become Cheeseburger. Benny Zakara! The overwhelming demand. Oh shit, there we go. There's the announcement about that, I guess. I already watched the movie. Joke's on you, pal. Your mother's a beep. When did the movie actually come out in comparison to this episode? It was quite a while later, right? So did they just announce it and then take like a really long time to make it? Or were they like saying that this is the movie version, recapping it right here? 
the movie version, and then they actually did make an, a real movie, too. Can't wait to get more backstory with that guy. Shoyo, I believe his name was. We saw a lot more of him in the movie, but I know so little about him that, you know, I want more context later. Not going to see him again. He died. It says it's going to appear on the big screen, so I guess this is just straight up advertising the movie. So, I, 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 I need to know the details. I need to know the details. Were they actually planning a movie? And it just got made way later into the future. Or did they... Was that actually like a lie? <laughs> and it just happened to come true? Maybe they were hopeful? And thinking maybe we'll do it? Maybe we'll see how it goes? And just put it in there just in case? It'd be hilarious if it was just meant to be a joke, and then eventually they were like, Hey, you remember when we said that we were going to do that? What if we actually did? Wait, what the fuck is hap- Wait. Why is his voice- That took me a second to catch, but- <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wait, this is not right. This is wrong. I watched the movie and the show. This is not what he sounds like. <laughs> Fucking Hata just dubbed Takasugi. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Dio, Prince Hata. Mm -hmm. One works, one does not. Although it's, I don't know, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I can't, I can never take him seriously again. Like, now I'm just gonna imagine him with this voice. <laughs> if you had a huge villain with this voice, though, it'd be so funny that I'd be, I'd, I'd respect that decision. My god. All right. But yeah, um, just this whole this Benny Zakara movie situation, that's really interesting. I'd love to know more behind the scenes details. And he's still doing it. We're just we're I've seen Benny Zakara twice now, and <laughs> and then they recapped it a little bit like in the next episode too. So this is like my fourth time seeing Benny Zakara. <laughs> but okay, this time it's Prince Hata. So why not? I'll destroy this corrupted world. All right, he's gone until he comes back. Gundam. Oh, now we're... Okay, we'll just dub different people. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just put the characters... Voices over different people. Put Hedoro. Put. Do something with Hedoro. Put like Otsu over Hedoro. <laughs> the words would make sense coming from somebody who looks like him, I guess. Alright, so this is when she was the chief for a day, or whatever. Chome 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 ko. This was stuck in my head for a little while <laughs> after I watched this one. Pori 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 kure. Chome. Chome 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 ko. Pori. Pori 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 pori. Pori pori. All right. Leave it to Gintama to do something silly with a recap. Like, there is a lot of recap in here, but it's also just a lot of 
there is a good amount of original content and just enough to make the recap fun with their absurdity. I don't know if I'm going to do a discussion, like, at all for this. There's really no point. I'll just be repeating everything that I've said during the reaction, so... Maybe just, like, at the end, a little tiny recap. But, you know, there's not really anything to discuss. It's mostly recap. I'll mostly just be saying, that thing that they did was funny. That meta-commentary was a little funny. Um, so, you know. Mostly reaction for this one. We're recapping again, like the beginning of the show. <laughs> we went back in time. Chome. Chome, 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 co. Penis. Pori, 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 kurai. Badminton. Chome 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 ko. Pori pori. Okay, we're still going. <laughs> Eat shit. That was beautiful. My heart skipped. Are we done? That was the whole thing. That went by really fast. That felt like ten minutes. Leave it to Gintama to make a recap feel speedy. The Yagyu arc? Oh, we're doing an arc. Okay. I would have rather not known that, actually. That would have nice to have been a surprise. But either way, uh, we're doing some kind of arc, so... After the recap, that's cool. It didn't actually recap much of what's happened recently. Now they are. With Tama. <laughs> that, was, that was recapping, like, the beginning and Benny Zakura. And then it kind of stopped, mostly. <laughs> now we're getting Tama. But, um... Yeah, Yagyu arc, I don't know what that's going to be, or how long it'll be, but that's exciting, and maybe we'll get the new OP and ED and whatnot. But yeah, um, just funny commentary, changing around the voices, having Hata in there in the OP. Breaking the fourth wall, give us more budget assholes. Revisiting early Gintama is really cool. I've grown quite attached to these crazy people. And I can't wait to keep going. I can't wait to watch more. 75 feels like a pretty big milestone, and I've got a lot more to go. And I know people uh, a lot of the time ask me to do more episodes per week. But, you know, they say that Gintama's going to take years for me to catch up. And, yeah, I mean, that kind of sounds nice to me. Like, I get to spend years watching Gintama. I get to spend a lot of time with it. And I know you want me to get to all the big crazy parts later faster, but... I'm enjoying going along with this show at the pace that I have been, and I have become quite endeared, and I can't wait to keep going, and I'm glad that there's a lot more. Unfortunately, the manga did end, and the anime will as well, but there is still a lot more for me to go, so can't wait. This was a, a great arc, so it's cool to get some recap on it here. I'm building up to the next arc. We're getting more arcs, more serious, multi-episode stuff. I didn't expect that one so soon after Benny Zakura, and now whatever Yagyu is, I have no idea. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this will be my shortest... Well, no, it won't be my shortest video, because Steins Gate 23B. I only watched, you know, I, that was like... 10 minutes or something. Because only the second half of that was original content. But other than that, it's one of my shorter ones because we're not really doing a discussion. So there we go. Is that it? That was fun. That was enjoyable. Went by real fast. Glad, uh, glad that I watched it. Oh, okay. Little preview from some swordswoman. Yagyu, Kyube, no, not Kyube! That's bad news. Shit, I'm watching that show right now. That's dangerous. Some gorilla, other than the normal gorilla that's always here. Not Sorachi, Kondo. So we got some eye patch swordsman lady. And she's t going with Otai? Otai? 
What the hell's going on? Hello? Ichigo 100%? I don't know anything about that. Apparently they are all references to that. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm excited to see what the hell's going to happen there. So, that was a childhood friend of Otai. Her name, though, Kiyube. I don't like that. But, yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be continuing more Gintama, along with all those other shows. So, thank you guys so much. Check out all the stuff in the description as well. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.